Welcome to EasyLine.guru. Today we will be seeing the different companies using MongoDB. But before I go ahead, I would like to tell you that what all EasyLine.guru is offering you. It provides you a lifetime LMS access that is your learning management system. We also provide you an on-demand support. Uh, an easy learn mode guru certification is provided after you complete the uh, certificate like complete the course from easyline.guru then you also have an easy and rescheduling of your classes in case you miss any of your class you can easily re reschedule it uh, with uh, easyline.guru you can have different doubt sharing sessions where uh, you can talk individual as an individual to the instructor and all your doubts can be uh, cleared there and all our experts are MongoDB University uh, experts and uh, MongoDB University certified experts and uh, they have expertise in the field of MongoDB. Now we will be talking about the various industries that are using MongoDB. See the basic reason why we are actually seeing this is because MongoDB is the most popular NoSQL database. So uh, seeing that what, how the companies are using them, what are the companies and how uh, using MongoDB and how they are using and what kind of application MongoDB is being used. Just to give you a basic knowledge of that thing, I am explaining you this industry using MongoDB. So I have mentioned some of the industries, believe me these are only few industries but there are many more industries which are using MongoDB. Uh, they are like finance, e-commerce, gaming, healthcare, education and science and there are some of the companies. I have mentioned few companies. Uh, in these industries which are using MongoDB like MetLife, eBay, Goldfire, Vital, Code Academy, Springer and there are many. I will be just discussing some of the use cases and how these companies are actually using MongoDB. See, MetLife is one of the leading global provider of insurance and employee benefit programs serving 90 million customers. MetLife wanted to harness big data to create a 360 degree view of its customers so it could know and talk to each of its more than 100 million clients as an individual. So what actually happened, uh, Metlink spent it lots of time in having it some unsuccessful development in this kind of centralized system using a conventional relational system, uh, database system as it was dealing with some semi-structured and unstructured database. So uh, sorry, unstructured information. So this was only, this was the only reason that uh, how uh, MongoDB, like a MetLife actually switched to MongoDB. So after they started using MongoDB technology, over just two weeks, MetLife created a working prototype of a new system that provided full, uh, that pulled together every single relevant piece of the customer information about each client. So, and after that, in just three short months later, uh, MetLife finished this version of new system called it the MetLife Wall and was in production across the MetLife call center. So that is how MongoDB actually helped Met MetLife. Next is eBay. eBay is the world's largest auction site that uses MongoDB to store all media metadata for the site. This includes references to images of every item for scale on eBay. eBay has number of projects running in MongoDB for like search suggestion, metadata storage, cloud management. Right, so eBay is like, eBay is using MongoDB nicely and MongoDB clusters are also deployed by across multiple data centers of eBay and which is actually delivering them 99.999% of availability. So you can think with MongoDB eBay's data is actually nearly 100% available to them. That is, they are always available with their data. Next is Goldfire. Goldfire Studio uses MongoDB database that drives Goldfire Studio web-based game platform and all the user data, game analytics are stored and retrieved using MongoDB. So that is how Goldfire Studios is actually using it. Next is the New York Stock. Uh, New York Times. The New York Times is the American uh, daily uh, newspaper founded and continuously published in the in New York since the year 18, uh, 1851, right? And now New York uh, uh, is using New York Times is using MongoDB in the form of building application from the photo submission. So they have lots of photos being submitted to them. So what they're doing, they're building an application using this photo submission. So the Mongo's dynamic queries give the producer the ability to define and combine and custom the form of leads. So 
queries that they actually want, they desire, MongoDB is actually providing them and that is the reason why they are using MongoDB database. Next is Pearson. Pearson is a British multinational publishing and education company. It uses the largest education, like it is the largest education company and the largest book publisher in the world. See, it uses MongoDB as an underlying DB for its national transcript center. Right? So what they do, this, tra this transcript manages for over 14 million students that they have. Okay? And what they actually do, uh, they have the students from various institutes so uh, and they have lots of records, have transcripts uh, of academic institution and various different things. So what did they do? Instead of storing the student data in a blob as uh, like, in, conven like in, com in a conventional relational database system, what Pearson do Pearson is able to use MongoDB's GridFS. There is a concept in MongoDB GridFS uh, with which it is, it is enabling Pearson to keep the files and metadata automatically synced and deployed across number of systems and facilities. So what it is doing, it is managing its documentation, its transcripts, its records with the help of MongoDB quite efficiently. So this is how MongoDB is using, uh, like MongoDB is helping all those industries and it can be it like shows you why MongoDB is the most popular NoSQL database. Thank you for watching the video. You can always contact us at contact at the rate easylearning.guru, our Skype ID is easylearning.guru, our website is www.easylearning.guru. Your queries are always welcome. Thank you and have a nice day.